By the way, hey Gail, you look handsome today. Just leaked, Boston Dynamics is building an insane robot army. Semi-autonomous and remotely controlled weapon systems are established military tools, and several armed forces are experimenting with quadrupedal robots to carry equipment. But should we be concerned about efforts to arm dog-like robots with lethal weapons? Maybe we do. The French Army Spot, the quadruped robot built by US firm Boston Dynamics, has appeared alongside soldiers during military exercises carried out by the French Army. The robot was apparently being used for reconnaissance during a two-day training exercise, but the deployment raises questions about how and where Boston Dynamics machines will be used in the future. Pictures of the exercises were shared on Twitter by France's foremost military school, the École Spéciale Militaire de Saint-Cyr. It described the tests as raising students' awareness of the challenges of tomorrow, which include the robotization of the battlefield. A report by French newspaper West France offers more detail, saying that Spot was one of a number of robots being tested by students from France's École Militaire Interarme, Combined Arms School, with the intention of assessing the usefulness of robots on future battlefields. Boston Dynamics Vice President of Business Development Michael Perry told media that the robot had been supplied by a European distributor, Shark Robotics, and that the US firm had not been notified about this particular use. We're learning about it as you are, says Perry. We're not clear on the exact scope of this engagement. The company says it was aware that its robots were being used with the French government, including the military. During the two-day deployment, West France says soldiers ran a number of scenarios, including an offensive action capturing a crossroads, defensive actions during night and day, and an urban combat test. Each scenario was performed using just humans and then using humans and robots together to see what difference the machines made. Sources quoted in the article say that the robots slowed down operations but helped keep troops safe. They added that one problem was Spot's battery life. It apparently ran out of juice during an exercise and had to be carried out. Where Boston Dynamics Stands it's not clear what role Spot was playing, neither Shark Robotics nor the École de Saint-Cyr had replied to requests for comment, but West France suggests it was being used for reconnaissance. The 70-pound Spot is equipped with cameras and can be remote controlled, with its four legs allowing it to navigate terrain that would challenge wheeled or treaded robots. To date, it's been used to remotely survey a number of environments, from construction sites to factories and underground mines. In addition to Spot, other machines being tested by the French military included Optio X-20, a remote-controlled vehicle with tank treads and autocannon built by Estonian firm Milrim Robotics. Ultro, a wheeled robot mule made for carrying equipment built by French state military firm Nexter, and Barracuda, a multi-purpose wheeled drone that can provide mobile cover to soldiers with attached armored plating. Spot's appearance on simulated battlefields raises questions about where the robot will be deployed in the future. Boston Dynamics has a long history of developing robots for the US Army, but as it's moved into commercial markets, it's distanced itself from military connections. Spot is still being tested by a number of US police forces, including by the NYPD, but Boston Dynamics has always stressed that its machines will never be armed. We unequivocally do not want any customer using the robot to harm people, says Perry. Spot's terms and conditions forbid it from being used to harm or intimidate any person or animal as a weapon or to enable any weapon. And it's possible to argue that a robot helping to scout buildings for soldiers is not technically harming or intimidating anyone. But if that recon is the prelude to a military engagement, it seems like a flimsy distinction. Public Reaction Despite worries from researchers and advocates, militaries around the world are increasingly pushing robots onto the battlefield. Remotely operated drones have been the most significant deployment to date, but other use cases, including robots that can scout, survey, and patrol, are also being tested. Robotic quadrupeds similar to Spot, built by rival firm Ghost Robotics, are currently being tested by the US Air Force as replacements for stationary surveillance cameras. If robots prove reliable as roaming CCTV, it's only a matter of time before those capabilities are introduced to active combat zones. There are some legitimate arguments that robotic technology and the military are, uh, absolutely horrifying. 
Some students and faculty at Carnegie Mellon University feel uneasy about the new Army AI research base on campus, and Google employees protested working on an AI project for the U.S. Pentagon. Then again, who doesn't love a good dangerous robot flick? Corridor Digital, an LA production studio that specializes in visual effects, has filmed a Wet Your Pants level parody video that depicts a future full of robotic soldiers, eliminating the need for human intervention. Nod to Boston Dynamics. This robot is fast. It can shoot targets with perfect precision, while having huge objects thrown at it. It can get pushed over by other soldiers and then run up after them and point a gun at their chest. It can even withstand gunshots in a standoff. The parody is a clear nod to Boston Dynamics, the robotics company that constantly produces funny yet creepy videos of the progress its robots are making. There's Spot, a dog-like robot that companies can now lease, and a humanoid robot called Atlas that's pretty spooky himself, as he tramps through the woods like a metallic Slenderman and performs parkour. This isn't the first foray that Corridor Digital has taken into the world of parody robotics videos. Back in June, the company released a clip of a rather Boston Dynamics-looking robot hitting people up in a warehouse. The thing is, people thought that video was real and totally freaked. So, Corridor released a behind-the-scenes video illustrating exactly how they were able to recreate the Boston Dynamics robot and produce the video. Hint, lots and lots of CGI. Walking Weapons Ghost Robotics recently equipped its Vision 60 four-legged unit with Special Warfare Operations Research Development International's custom-made remotely operated gun. More than 20 national security customers currently use Ghost Robotics platforms, but it's said that autonomous weapons are not where the main interest lies. Most of the company's customers deploy the Vision 60 for chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear and explosives detection, reconnaissance and mapping. It's primarily going to be a special force thing in the US, and we're talking years by the time they get official approval. You're not going to see any kind of operability of a weapon on most legged robots today. But we think in years down the road, you will. The only difference between Ghost Robotics and any ground, surface or air uncrewed systems with the option of weapons integration is that the Vision 60 walks on legs. People will get used to it, just like they got used to the General Atomics Reaper MQ Predator drones carrying out operations. The special purpose unmanned rifle it is armed with has no autonomy nor integrated AI, and it is operated by a human in the loop. The concept was to create a walking quadruped and remove soldiers from the close combat environment. Boston Dynamics, on the other hand, has a strict policy against weaponizing its machines, including its quadrupedal spot. However, if the shot is not fired from the back of the robot, but it helps locate adversary targets for engagement, the machine can be considered just as lethal as its weaponized counterpart. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.